أصحابه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد. Indeed, all praises belong to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the Creator, the Sustainer, and Controller of all that happens in the universe. And we invoke His peace and blessings upon His noble Messenger, His family, His companions, and all those who follow them in righteousness until the end of time. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I just uh, noticed a note here about the mother of a sister Jannah who passed away in Kazakhstan and were asked to make dua for her. So I know many people have left, but nevertheless, please join me as we make a dua for our dear sister who passed away, as well as uh, all other brothers and sisters who have passed away. اللهم اغفر لأختنا هذه وجميع موت المسلمين يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم وعف عنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس وأبدلهم دورا خيرا من دورهم وأزواجا خيرا من أزواجهم وأفسح لهم في قبورهم ونور لهم فيها اللهم جازهم بالإحسان إحسانا وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا اللهم أجرهم من فتنة القبر وعذاب النار وأدخلهم الجنة مع الأبرار برحمتك يا عزيز يا غفار يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم ارحمنا إذا سرنا إلى ما قد صاروا إليه اللهم ارحمنا إذا سرنا إلى ما قد صاروا إليه ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين uh, Brothers and sisters Society is at peace and people get along harmoniously of course when members of that society, the individual members of the society are willing to respect each other and to know about each other and to know about or learn about the various uh, practices, if you like, of each other. Tolerating the likes and dislikes of others. Even if we're Muslims only, we still would have different personal likes and dislikes. So what is key in a peaceful and harmonious society is not simply the legislative laws that force people to abide by these limits. Laws are important, of course, to regulate life. Without laws, without restrictions, without limits, life would get very chaotic. Life would get very chaotic. And this is, this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to always do things with balance. When Allah says in Surah Al-Rahman, وَالسَّمَاءَ رَفَعَهَا وَوَضَعَ الْمِيزَانِ and the heavens or the skies he raised high, وَوَضَعَ الْمِيزَانِ And he placed a balance. <coughs> Mizan here means a balance. So there is a balance in this world. Not just in the life of the individual, but there is a balance between the human and the non-human. And then there is a balance between the planets themselves and the, and the heavenly bodies. So Allah, He said He raised the heavens. And he placed the balance. The heavens, the, the universe was not just created like that. It is placed also in perfect balance. That's why Allah says that it is not fitting for the sun to overtake the moon or the moon to overtake the sun. It is not fitting, it is not for any creation to transgress that limit. Why? Because all these things operate based on this balance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed. So, laws are important. 
limits are important to ensure that life does not become chaotic. And that's why we live in a society in which there are laws and there are rules. There are freedoms, of course, but there are rules as well. The idea is not to let one infringe on the other. So the idea or the balance is to ensure that rules and laws do not infringe on the freedoms. And at the same time, balance is also to ensure that your freedoms do not infringe on the laws. So there has to be a balance to, that, that has to be maintained for society to really achieve peace. And the Muslim community is no different from this, brothers and sisters. In many ahadith, the Prophet والسلام, has hammered home the idea and the concept that the essence of a Muslim individual is not only in the ritual worship that the person performs. This is definitely important. But part of that essence, to complete the essence of the Muslim individual as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it, is that the individual should upkeep the, 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 the rituals. But at the same time, that individual is supposed to also have good character, good behavior. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ in many hadith he has made good behavior so important he has highlighted it to the point where he has made it part of what Islam is. And so today I would like to share with you one such hadith, brothers and sisters, that Shaykh Al Albani graded as Sahih. It's a beautiful hadith. Because it makes us realize that it's not just laws alone, external laws that forces us to live by certain limits and this is what results in peace. This will certainly happen on the surface. But to have true peace and harmony, what you need is the individuals in the society, in the community, you need them to actually subscribe to this idea. Because you can have laws or limits that forces a person to abide by certain within certain boundaries or limits. The person may not, in, in their heart though, accept that. They might be submitting to the laws or the limits unwillingly. But what Islam wants us to achieve is willing participation. Willing participation. Because this is what brings about, truly brings about peace. When the peace is only surface, at the surface what happens, it, it doesn't take much to stir up trouble. And it happens all the time. When the peace is deep down, it takes a lot more than a comment here and a comment there to really blow everything apart. So the Prophet والسلام, of course under the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about not just setting up limits so that there's peace in society. He went about nurturing and molding the character of the people, the individuals in the society. Getting them to embrace the concept of peace. So that there will truly be peace and harmony in society. But peace and harmony can only come about, brothers and sisters, if there is mutual respect. There's mutual respect for each other. But the Prophet والسلام, took this to another level. In this hadith, he said, alayhi salatu wasalam, laysa minna man lam yujilla kabirana. He is not from amongst us. Laysa minna. He's not one of us, one of the Muslim ummah. Person may call themselves a Muslim, may claim to belong to the Muslim ummah. But our claims, are not valid proof of our inner faith. It is our inner faith, what the heart feels, which usually, usually is manifested in our actions. This is really what matters. This is the proof of the claims we make with our mouths. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Laysa minna. He is not from amongst us. 
Man lam yujilla kabiran, who does not respect our 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 old elders. And the word yujil or ijlal, ijlal shay does not mean respect it alone. It means to hold it in high esteem. Allah. Respect is the bare minimum. High esteem or ijlal is, is, is a level higher than that. We live in a society today and we live in a day and age, brothers and sisters, not just in our society, Allah. but across the world, you find that young people tend not to have that level of respect and, and esteem, high estimation for their elders that earlier generations used to have. These days, young people, and I'm not against young people, by the way, it's just that sometimes they take their, their assertiveness, which is a good thing, beyond certain limits to the point where they may not be disrespectful to older people, to the elders. But the Prophet ﷺ did not just say, show them respect. He says, man lam yujilla kabiran. You must hold them in high esteem. Let me give you an example, brothers and sisters, of how the Sahaba and even the Tabi'een, how they used to hold their elders in high esteem. If two companions were together, and they, had, they were asked the question, the younger one will hesitate to speak. He will let the older one speak first. Al Imam Bukhari tells us in his Sahih, narrates a hadith, in which the Prophet, والسلام, the hadith is related by Abdullah ibn Umar. He said that one day the Prophet والسلام, told a group of companions that, that there is a. There is.